I called the Princess Bride, but no one really. Okay, so Amber, what did you show us this time? <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's all my fault. We watched my teenage angst movie, The Craft. I don't know how to put this, but I don't have a teenage angst. <laughs> Because, I'm not you, sure. because you don't know what angst is. I don't. You but never went through that phase, dude. Not really. You know nothing of angst. You. I liked this movie. <laughs> it was okay. okay, so this movie came out in 1996. And it is extremely 90s. It's not quite as 90s as Hackers, but that's kind of a high bar. Which so we're doing an on the couch up one day, I demand it. I yeah, mean, absolutely. I'm totally down for that. Yeah. Angelina Jolie and some of the worst haircuts you will ever see. I'm not Miller. sure if it's just Matthew this movie didn't do anything for me or if it's the alcohol. I'm just kind of on the fence with this one. Not bad, not good, entertaining. Though. I can definitely so, say this movie is made for girls. A lot better than the one we just watched, what was it, three hours ago, two hours ago? Like the Reanimator is a fucking good movie, you plebeian. <laughs> <laughs> Your words. <laughs> Which, you know, you pretentious bastard, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. What he said. Yeah, you don't know what's going on anymore, do you? <laughs> I have a general grip on the situation. I'm working on having less of a <laughs> Okay, there were a couple of times where you were on the floor during this movie, so... Damn it, Janet! <laughs> I will... No! Okay, okay. 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 I will eat you. Okay. To displace I the alcohol, I, I put, it. put I the should, glass down first. I suppose I should give some context to that. <laughs> um, the father of one of the girls in this movie is played by Cliff de Young, who was, was in, in Shock, Shock Treatment, Treatment. <laughs> which was the semi sequel to, to Rocky Horror Picture Show. And which he, is right there. He was canonically playing the same character as it's Brad from the from. Very so, so yeah, I should have gone with a Shock Treatment reference, but the problem is the guy from Shock Treatment, Cliff Young doesn't get a lot of songs in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> and and also the whole Janet thing is just more universally recognized. It is, definitely. I mean, I, this is the room to make Shock Treatment references. Uh, just a sweet transvestite. Yeah, really. But, um, okay, so yeah, the craft. Uh, four girls are bitches and practice witchcraft. And, and uh, the rest of the girls are bitches too, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have balance. It, de show. it definitely does that 90s thing where, like, the girls gain confidence and then suddenly they're, like, wearing push-up bras and, like, proper makeup. Robin, Tunney, <laughs> Niv Campbell, Rachel True, and... Perusa Balk. That one. She was the evil one. Yeah, I, I do not know how to pronounce that name. It's pronounced how it's Balk. spelled. Feruza Balk was acting her ass off. Yeah, like, the, you oh, could yeah. tell the director told her to just go nuts, and she did. Did, big time. <laughs> I mean, um, I know this is an older movie, but the last time I saw a female actor having that much fun was Elizabeth Banks in Power Rangers. She was yeah. having so much fun in that movie. Don't even. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I didn't see The Huntsman. So, uh, I never saw Shirley that Stern was apparently having a blast as the evil queen in that movie, but again, I haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, Jay is like twirling around the DVD case. Oh no, they can see him. Yeah. yeah. He's in frame. <laughs> there, we, they they, they shall much. bear witness! <laughs> witness me! <laughs> Our neighbors are like yelling at us right now. Okay, um, that's actually just kind of the plot of the movie. Like, yeah, it's they, witchcraft they, and shit. They, they have, <laughs> they, they have some problems. They have some problems. They use magic to solve them, and then shit goes wrong. Because like, they become like magic drunk. It's basically the same plot as the opening arc of um, Ducktales with uh, Gold Fever. Ducktales. <laughs> yeah, like they will never leave. I didn't watch the show as a kid. Sorry, did any of you watch the Marx Brothers as kids? No, then you were deprived. Yes. <laughs> I did watch the Three yeah. Stooges. <laughs> I have like anyway. I watched Power Rangers and well, so uh, Batman and I have like all <laughs> yeah. of the three the first what could be considered the first season for the Three Stooges on DVD. And Abbott and Costello, so I gotta, yeah. I gotta see the ending of that season of reboot. Anyway, the craft. Um Frickin', uh, season know, of reboot, what? Uh, 
like the old CGI cartoon about yes. the people who yes, inside the computer. Yes, you know what Reboot is. <laughs> I'm just saying there was this one. That's a really cheesy show. I liked it. Um, but, you know, I was a kid. I had terrible taste. <laughs> I used to think Barney was good. <laughs> you also used to think Animaniacs was good. So. Animaniacs is good. Yeah, Animaniacs. Like, well, well, what I'm saying is your taste wasn't completely horrible. No. Okay. Okay. So you were complimenting me, guys. I mean, <laughs> I never particularly cared for the Animaniacs. I never thought they were bad, but like all of their supporting cast, I enjoyed more than. Hysteria them. was great. Hysteria was amazing. I, I, for, I can never remember the names of the pigeons though. Uh, squib. Squid. Like, did they have an overall Sid, name Sid for the their squid. sub show? Oh, yeah, yeah the, the, the Good, good feathers. feathers. The Good Feathers. Yeah, I thought you were asking for their actual I like the, the Don Pigeon who just show up and always mumble. The Don Pigeon <laughs> says. Anyways, the craft. <laughs> the craft is. <laughs> this is like. You know, the craft has actually pretty good effects. Um, judiciously yeah. used. Um, whatever department wrangled the animals made its fucking paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, animal wranglers Boon Nar and David Osbury. Shout out! <laughs> yeah, shout we out to the, the, We got the credits. Pause. Shout out to those guys because Jesus Christ, there was a lot of snakes, rats, and uh, maggots, I guess roaches. It's like that last. Uh, I, don't know, I, I don't think it was nearly as bad as it was in Frogs. There was a lot of shit in that one. I think I think it was more. It was it was less of the movie, but it was more. Concentrated. There was uh, when I was looking up frogs on um, not Wikipedia, but Can just we talk about the craft. <laughs> the, the hotel that the people were staying at would not let them keep all the animals in there. And they ended up getting loose anyway. Yeah. They probably poisoned the bio. <laughs> Just with all the animals they let loose. But yeah, there were, a, especially like right there at the end, a lot of rats, spiders, maggots, a whole lot of maggots. I gotta say, it's a good thing the actresses were doing their jobs and bringing a lot of character because on paper the girls were pretty interchangeable yeah like they like they had the thing they wanted to fix with magic and that was about it that's about like all the if you just you got. read this you'd probably think it wouldn't be good but like, then you're seeing it in action like the black like, one wanted revenge on the explicitly racist blonde girl and that yeah. was that was her character yeah but they 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 they, they, they made it work oh that, that's my point they made it work because the actresses were committed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they had good actresses for this. Yes, indeed. Um, several Scream alum in this movie. Also, yeah, the douchebag uh, football player. He was. Who was forgot to bring a yeah. boombox to his already? late night seduction. I told you already. Cello. Is you, is you, is you, my baby. No, Screw no, the boombox. No, it's a mandolin, not a cello. Whatever. That Are thing. you sure? Because that thing was like, I'm pretty sure, up. yeah, cello, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, you bring a mandolin. It's from Tom and Jerry. It's, a, it's the Tom and Jerry reference. Is oh. you is or is you, that was a cello, the thing was yeah. the size of Tom. Oh, okay, so you were explicitly referencing a specific oh, seduction. Yes. I'm good. See, normally in movies it's like a guitar or a mandolin. No, he was referencing Tom and Jerry. Okay, it's explicitly referencing. Did you never see that episode? I never saw that episode. I mostly remember the one... I mostly remember other Tom Seduces, random white cat. Why was it always white? Uh, because it was the 40s? Yeah, that's all I got. Yes. <laughs> and white cats are supposed to be like signs of sophistication? I guess. Because they were owned by most I mean, that was what they did people. in the aristocrats, so. Because they were the owned by rich cats. people, so. Oh, God, that movie. Yeah, the aristocrats, <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> anyway. Um. Crap. I, mean, like, I, I honestly don't have a lot to say about this. Yeah, just, we're, we're, a, we're, we're kind of good. Boss, or, like, There's not a lot of plot. Like in in the in the reanimator, the plot is like beat 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 beat. Here it's just more they're friends. They do friend stuff, and some of that involves witchcraft. There's and some, it goes bad. There's yeah. some revenge. Yeah, stuff goes bad, and then they turn on like the, the the main character is the new girl at the beginning of the movie. They turn on her at the end of the movie. And there's this whole thing. There were some interesting tricks with mirrors uh, yeah. a couple times, especially the delay turn on the mirror. Yeah. We all noticed that, no. which was intentional. Um, the glamour was kind of amused, I'd say, but well, I guess, yeah. I, I, had already they, I, guess I just didn't want to explain more magic to the audience. <laughs> I'd already had a few drinks by then. I just wanted to make sure I 
was seeing what actually happened. Yes, yes you were. That wasn't your, right. that wasn't your brain falling behind in time. <laughs> Which is a horrifying concept. <laughs> hey, no. See, we joke about that, but there's actually I've there was actually this one time I lost my memory over an entire weekend. I still oh, okay, losing your memory is one thing, but your brain literally shifting in time, that's horrifying. I mean, I've blinked that, out for a few seconds before. Because then, like, does the new timeline, is that reality, or are you just five seconds behind everybody? At this yeah, point? we're like, not getting into Flashpoint right the, now. The, the implications are <laughs> immense. <laughs> Um, it's a fun movie. It's very it's, not, it's, it's very definitely 90s. worth watching. And like, you got to be in the mood for some nineties. And like, a lot of the definitely some nineties. A lot of the computer effects, like now, looking at them now, they don't look as great. At the time, they would have been like mind blowing, and they hold up. Yeah, at the time, they were like top tier stuff, and they still like they're still good enough. Like they did some wire work that fuck was good, like levitation shit. Yeah, you can't <laughs> see the wires. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. I don't Light think it's working. Holy shit, I'm in the air! <laughs> I'm a train, or you will fall. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that you're like not even a foot above the ground. You'll be yes, fine. but she was straight, which means it would be directly on her back. Yeah. Like, there's, that's an... Well, okay, no, let's be real. It was on her, it was gonna be on her butt, because that was the biggest part that she had facing the ground. Yeah. Let's be real. What do you want, foam? Yes, banning Nazis would be good. Thank you, Twitter. Um, Punch a Nazi! No, 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 no. We, should, we need to get back and see uh, Helsing murder Nazis. Anyway, um... That! <laughs> yes. The new Helsing Ultimate of which um, came out. Yeah. It's, it's a good movie. I don't have a lot to say yeah, about this. So I don't have a particular the craft favorite is scene. Fun. It's, um... It's, there's a lot of grittiness I mean, uh, Miss, to it. What was her name? Feruza. Feruza Bolt. Feruza. Best character in the movie as far as I'm concerned. I mean, Ro Robin... There is some Tooney. uncommented... Robin on... Tooney. There is some... She was definitely entertaining. You know, just, I think Balk was the better character. The more relatable one. There is some uncommented on Catholic school shenanigans in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Catholic. Um, like, okay, as someone who has been to Catholic school... It bothers me the fact that there's people flagrantly, flagrantly breaking uniform code and not she getting in trouble like for a it. Flight attendant on this cover. Yes, yeah, like, she does. <laughs> like th th there are times when these girls are blatantly not in their uniforms and nobody says anything to them. Yeah, and it's really hard to get away with that. You actually get in a lot of trouble. Yes, you do. Yes, indeed. Even when there aren't nuns around. Which is like when I said during the movie, it always bothers me in JRPGs. That's, there's always at least two students that get away with that shit. Or, I wouldn't say that this no, is... No, I mean, given I, it's not Catholic schools, at least not as far as I've seen, because of Japan, but... Not generally. You know, they're really fond of their uniformity. This is uh, much more in the vein of Dracula 2000 in that it's not a horror movie, but it's, it's a spooky-themed movie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I a did movie not particularly that... like that one. Dracula 2000? Did not like. Boo. 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 Shun the non -believer. Burn the witch. <laughs> Burn the witch. <laughs> Let's not, because there were witches in this movie. Well, one of them deserves it. Oh, yeah, how was the witchcraft as the only two who would have any comment on that in this movie? Motherfucking amateurs. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Steven will school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to claim to be a professional here. But. You know better. <laughs> I know better. I know the first thing you do is don't send shit out that you don't want back. Yeah. That's the base, the first rule of Wicca. Like, is the, it comes back to you times three. Like, That's the one thing that they got right. As someone who yeah. actually has years of experience, karma is bullshit. Mm. Like, okay. If you want to send something out, you send out a protection spell. Yeah. <laughs> because th there are things you don't want to mess with. Because it does come back. I'm a general non-believer, but whatever. But you a also just you also in believe in a, a general idea of putting good out into the world to get good back. Well, obviously. But yeah, I mean... That's it's... just a practical way of life. Yeah, well, which is also why you're wrong, you rose glasses wearing. Well. So you're disagreeing with witchcraft after you just saw this movie. 
Well, I mean, the witch trap is fake anyway, so yes, I'll disagree with it, but, you know. See, I didn't go so far as to call it fake. I just said I don't believe. <laughs> You're insulting our hosts. <laughs> no, I'm insulting you for wanting to believe the general good of the world when there's blatantly not. No, I didn't say that. I believe in giving good to the world so that the world gives it back. It's not Except it doesn't. Works. I mean, I also believe that the world is generally good. Fucked. But... Yeah, no. It is generally fucked right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It'd be nice if there was good. There was general. Regardless, good movie. Good, good movie. Bad depiction that. of witchcraft. I would definitely say this is a watch with friends though kind of thing. Because if you try and watch this by yourself, it will grate. Unless you're, you know. <laughs> unless this is precisely your like childhood. Like in, unless <laughs> you, unless you are currently an angsty teenager. <laughs> Are you now or, or 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 ever have been an angsty teenager? I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I don't know what my audience. I have a really funny is. story with this movie. No boy. The, the, no the boy. scene where they're invoking the spirit of Menon, the spell that they do. Me and my friend used to walk around the track at school, and she would say it as the wind was blowing. She's like, "Oh my god, I'm making the wind blow." I'm like, "No, you're not. You're an idiot." <laughs> But we're stupid like that. Ding dong, the witch is dumb. <laughs> but we were very angsty. We, I've like, this, this movie okay. was... But honestly, was unless you are currently <laughs> in that phase of your life, I mean, I would not recommend watching this alone. Or if you were in that phase and remember it fine. Yeah, this is definitely a, a nostalgia trip for I mean, I went 90s. through that yes. phase. I would not be able to watch this <laughs> alone. Early 2000s. So yeah. I mean, like, okay. <laughs> like, 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 I, I, actually, I think it, you know, kind of in the same vein of Dracula 2000, where if you were that kind of kid back then, it kind of fits. It just, yeah. you know... Jackie 2000 wasn't about kids. Mm -mm. What Although it was about the kind of actors who would be employed to play teenagers yes. in movies. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Hence Johnny Lee Brown. Grab this and not just knock it over. Yes, please Craft is. Put it over there, not where the electronics are, dude. Craft is fine. That would um, be a smart idea. I mean, <laughs> there's electronics and strategy guides. I'm, I'm, I'm but I'm leaning okay. this way. Oh, though. my bad. I'm probably yeah. a lot more forgiving of this movie than it would deserve if not for like the really good performances. Like, this movie would absolutely fall apart if the cast was not fucking game. Yeah, like, they, they, <laughs> they, they gave their all. Well, again, shows. 90s. I mean, there's only so much you can forgive without other things being there to redeem it. Yeah, I'm generally a little forgiving of the 90s nonsense, just because, you know, I remember it fun. And yet you <laughs> bash on the 80s. Oh, the 80s fucking sucked, man. For shame! For shame. Just, All right. From a society standpoint, sure. From an entertainment standpoint, screw you. Happy Halloween.